ho, ho, ho. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, welcome to uh, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command Action Game. It literally, act, literally actually says Action Game on the box for PC. <clears throat> and if you don't know what this game is, uh, around about like a year after the second Toy Story movie was made, there was a spin-off uh, straight-to-video movie called Buzz Lightyear of Star Command, which eventually ended up branching out into like its own uh, Disney Channel uh, cartoon series, and this right here is the game that uh, is a tie-in for that um, uh, straight-to-video movie thing. So yeah, that's uh, where it branches from. That's, that's where it came from. Uh, I've actually always wanted this. Or I, I wanted it. Uh, I wanted this game. Sorry, excuse me, a little stuttery. I wanted this game when I was a little kid, but I never ended up, ended up getting it. Uh, I did, however, play the Toy Story 2 video game. And that was a pretty good game. Uh, I've seen some gameplay footage of this game, which which is the complete reason why I wanted to buy this game and do a Let's Play series on it, because it looked like it was kind of worthy, and it definitely looked like it was in that genre of uh, the old animated film tie-in games that I've done with like the Jimmy Neutron PC game. But, um, yes, Buzz Lightyear Star Command, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, jump into this. I can figure out the controls, thank god you can, so I set the movement to WASD. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit jump to start the first mission. The first mission! Mission 1, Joe. Ad. Joe Ad. Jode. Jode. Let's hit it up. Alright. Mission briefing. Yes, Commander. Game's loading. Hang on. Oh god. Farmer Joe Ad just called in a 911. Oh, it is Joe Ad. You stop by and check it out. Okay, Buzz. Let's run through some of the basics. Okay. You start with a standard issue later. I like your MS Paint looking <laughs> looking animation there. Okay, so uh uh okay. So um as I'm bombarded by a bunch of what the f In the name of Star Command. Wait a minute. Was that Patrick Warburton? <laughs> Was that Patrick Warburton? Hang on, I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> it sounded like Patrick Warburton. Oh my god. Okay, so from what I can tell, I gotta. Let me take these headphones out. This is way too loud for me. And there's no sound options in the game. From what I can tell, you basically have to beat these criminal guys to their drop-off place. And when you get there, you fight them in a boss battle. Something like that. So, um... Yeah. This music is from Toy Story Racer. I'm, I'm pretty sure this music is from a level in Toy Story Racer. Remember Toy Story Racer? It's actually a pretty decent car racing game for like a PS1. There might have been a PC port, I don't know. But we're way in front of this guy. So yeah, from what I can tell, the name of the game is... You basically just gotta beat your... The, 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 the main enemy dudes... Uh, from making it to the end of the thing. This game just loves throwing a bunch of crap at you at once, and why am I on a farm? Shouldn't I be like on a like on an alien planet? Also, why isn't Buzz's helmet up? Cause like, I get that like in the movies it made sense because like he like, he like accepted that he was a toy, so he didn't need the. What the fuck is that thing? What? Um. Train of thought out the window, guys. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about. All I know is a giant meatball looking, like, Monstars from Space Jam looking dude just popped up. I got this one, Buzz. <laughs> I saw a drawing of what she act actually looked like. Uh, like in the show? They did not do a good job of, like, rendering her in the game. So, yeah, I gotta fight these guys now. Or this guy. I have a shield. Oh, cool. Uh, wait. Plus his derpy ass face. <laughs> he looks like a Lego guy. <laughs> okay, so I gotta fight this guy. 
I'm just zapping him. He's doing a lot of damage to him. I, I guess. I guess that little stoplight thing up there is his health bar. What the hell is hitting me? There's like asteroids coming out of the sky. I can't, I can't grab those. Also, I can't aim at this guy because he's like... There is no way to like aim or like lock... Yeah, that was like an asteroid that came out of the sky. The game's just throwing shit at me with no, like no way to prepare it. Prepare, prepare for it. This works. Or maybe he's throwing those? I don't know. Well, I got like the aimbot gun. Is this damaging him at all? Because I don't... I don't see like his green... Green circle thing getting smaller. Okay, that, that's hurting because I heard him go out. If that is seriously Patrick Warburton doing the voice of Buzz, I will lose my goddamn mind. Because like, if it... <laughs> If it was Patrick Warburton, then um, this game just got a million times better. I wish I could actually aim at you. But no, he just chases you around. There's no way to aim or... You can straight, but it's like really wonky. Also, the animation looks awesome. <laughs> Alright, enough messing around. But like Buzz is like, slide to left, beep. Slide to the right. I better stop singing that or else I make a copyright flag for um, doing that. I have this laser gun again. Of course, it doesn't do any damage to him. I guess, like, whatever color your gun matches his thing, and then you can shoot him. I explained that poorly, but I know what I'm talking about. Okay, stop hitting me. Jesus Christ. There's no way to aim at him because, like, he just chases you. He's just like on aggro mode all the time, and like, you can't. Okay, your shield's down. I'm really low on health too. Like, you can't get any distance though to freaking. Where'd he go? Oh, to to get some shots on him. Where'd he go? Ow. Okay, what? Would you... Jesus Christ! Let me actually face him. Okay, I got him. Awesome death animation, by the way. Just fall over and explode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so that's level one. You can always count on us, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That is Patrick Warburton. Oh my god. Ew. What was that sound effect? That's Patrick Warburton doing the voice of Buzz Lightyear. Why could they have not just have gotten Tim Allen to do it? I don't know. I mean, I mean Patrick Warburton, he's... I would say, he, I mean, yeah, he, his voice is everywhere, but he's like one of the, still one of the more high-profile, high-talented voice actors out there. I honestly like him better than Tim Allen. But they, <laughs> no, this is wrong. Because, like, when I think of, like, this is a Disney game, when I think of Disney and Patrick Warburton... I think of, I, th I think of Croc, you know, you know, Gusko, I think of Croc, I think of, uh, <laughs> I think of my world famous spinach buffs, I think of the poison, the poison for Gusko, the poison specially chosen to kill Gusko, Gusko's poison, I don't think of Buzz Lightyear, uh, also, all of my jokes are going to revolve around Patrick Warburton impressions now, for this entire let's play, so get ready for that, mm-hmm, <laughs> Let's, um, go ahead and hit up mission two. Flamer. Flamé. Flamage. Whatever the fuck your name is. This, like, gypsy looking derpus. Okay, I know how to shoot the gun and everything. Let's go. Gravitina, huh? Ooh, no. Oh, God! <laughs> what? Uh. You know what? Keep it in your pants, lady! Holy shit. Only room in my life for one lady. Star Command. <laughs> I can't. I can't get over. Patrick Warburton doing the voice of Buzz Lightyear in this game. <laughs> I can't get 
get over that. Did you hear, what, what did you just say there? My speed bike just disappeared for some reason. What did he say there? Something like, uh... Ah, oh, fuck. Like, there's only room for one lady in my, in my book. Stark man. No. There's only one lady for me, Peter. Her name is Bonnie. I've been married to her since season one. I get a jetpack for some reason? I don't know. I don't think uh, shooting her as... God damn it. <laughs> I, I just had to... It's not letting me jump though since I have the stupid jetpack. Oh. Okay, I had to hold it. Uh... What... I... I think it's a character from the show that I do not remember. I lost my train of thought again. I apologize. I'm way behind this lady now. I gotta, I gotta make it there before, um... She whatever the heck's makes it to a drop-off zone. Jesus Christ, this game just throws like a million enemies at you at once. It's surprisingly kind of difficult. I will say though, compared to the Jimmy Neutron uh, game for PC that I did, this one has significantly better graphics. Which isn't saying much since the bar that the Jimmy Neutron game set was pretty low. I... Yeah, I, I gotta beat this lady. That's, uh, Mega Minds. I, I guess not wife, because I, I, I would assume a giant skull like that is hereditary. So, sister? Just mother? I don't know. Like, Mega Mind. With, like, a ring of asteroids around her head. I just dodged all those. Ha! I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm catching up now. I'm looking at, like, my little uh, measurement stick thing, and it looks like I'm getting closer to where she is. How that hurts. How do I switch? Oh, that's how I switch weapons. Alright. I gotta save these guys right here. Um, did I get them? Or... Oh, I, guess, I guess I got them. Oh, I still like a timer. Oh, right, I gotta... Mm! I'm running out of time! I gotta make it there before she gets picked up by her evil whatever the heck. <gasps> make it! Yes, made it. One swift uh, second on the clock. Oof. I'm afraid so, Gravitina. Unless you'd like to surrender peacefully. I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Unless you'd like to surrender peacefully. In the name of the Koog Police Station. <laughs> Hang on, my, my headphones fell off. Let me put these back on real quick while she's standing over there like a derpus. Uh, what happened to the music? There's no music. Yeah, there's no music. Um, this game just got a lot less hectic now that there's no music. Cause I, I couldn't keep my train of thought while there was music, but now it just feels all calm. Okay, so I need a gun that has a purple orb. I have a yellow and a green. Uh, are there any guns around here that I can use? Also, why is Buzz using a, like, handheld guns when he has a laser gun on his wrist? Maybe it really is a light bulb that blinks. I don't know. I like this Johnny Bravo whip sound effect. Ooh, man! It's got moves, look at that shit! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! You don't gotta worry about throwing off my groove, Cusco. Ha <laughs> ha! My groove is immortal. I, uh... You're not gonna hear the end of that Patrick Warburton impression throughout this playthrough. I just cannot get over the fact that Patrick Warburton <laughs> is doing the voice of Buzz Lightyear in this game. They seriously couldn't have gotten Tim Allen? Is Tim Allen really that expensive? Yeah, th this is doing no damage at all. Can I use my other gun? Maybe that does damage? No? How do I do damage to her? Th that just gives me ammo. 
What am I supposed to do here? Did the health... Okay, good. The health kits respond. I... What am I supposed to do? Do I gotta collect, like, these Illuminati Dorito things? I heard, like, if you have a certain amount of something, you can get better guns, but... Why is it so freaking quiet now? I... Does that hurt me? Oh, okay, it does. Also, how come, how come, like, Buzz is, like... Ow. Buzz is, like, his grunts with, from, like, jumping and getting hit. They sound like Tim Allen, but his... Voice is clearly not. So they got Tim Allen to, pro to provide the grunts, but he was uh, too expensive to provide the actual voice. Maybe they didn't even hire Tim Allen. Whoa! Shh. Oh, I got a new gun now. Sweet. And it's purple. I can defeat her thing. I guess I had to collect enough of those to use the spring? That's Why would you have to pay to use a spring? Oh, that really destroyed her shield. Okay. I don't think the white gray color signals that I need a new um, color gun. I think I can just, whenever it's like that, I'm pretty sure I can just hit her with whatever. This is a really anti climax she, she herself doesn't even attack from what I can see. She just flies t to like places where you can easily hit her. And then fireballs just happen to come out of those little lava pits. How is this a boss fight? Well, I wonder if, like, her giant pus-filled head pops when you kill her. <laughs> I kind of don't want to find out. No! Alright. Another explosion animation, whatever. Another cutscene coming up, I assume. Yes. It's time you learn that uh, Did I miss something? <laughs> Is there a reason why Buzz is wearing a black turtleneck, uh, boxer shorts, and some slippers? Did I miss something? Uh... Okay, look. I know that, like, the cutscenes are clearly pulled from the animated show that they had on Disney Channel. But... That didn't connect to the game at all. That didn't. <laughs> Maybe that's an unlockable outfit for him. I don't know. I kind of want to play as Buzz in boxer shorts, a black turtleneck, and bunny slippers. <laughs> I guess that's the mission. Sure, I'll go ahead and save the game. Confirm save, yeah. Yeah. Okay, this game is, um, it's pretty cool so far. <laughs> I will say, Patrick Warburton, he makes everything better. <laughs> I appreciate it, Peter. I'll meet you in Cleveland and Quagmire down at the Clam later. Well, I mean, not Cleveland, he has that, uh, that spin-off series that hasn't been doing that well in the ratings, but, uh, I'll still meet you in Quagmire there. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and do it for episode one of this playthrough. I'll, uh... I'm thinking the missions are pretty short, so I guess I'll do two missions per episode. I don't know. But uh, I, th I feel like this is long enough for one episode, so yeah. Uh, see you when, when episode two comes around. This is Patrick Warburton signing off, Goose Girl. Oh. Ow. I actually did accidentally hit my wrist on my desk if you could have heard that. This desk is made of... It's made out of hand carved mahogany. I, uh... Don't think I'll be able to break this down, Isma.